Hey you guys, this is Navy So MA, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on the die rotor. And this one is actually the new liquid gray die rotor, which I just got today. Gotta say the rotor looks great. So let's start the video. So the first thing, when you open it, you will see the rotor. As you can tell, it's actually a gray rotor. Like just with a different shell. Very nice, I'll come back to it. So, first thing you'll see in the box is the warranty card. I haven't, I just got this today, so I haven't got a chance to send it out or anything. So, yep, there's that. Then there's the manual. Nice color for the manual. It tells you everything you need to know, how to take it apart, which I will show you guys how to do. Well, I'll show you guys the knot that I know. If you lift this, the bottom piece off, and there's a hole for the feed knife and the anti jam. Jam, right there. There's going to be a sticker, a little die sticker, and there's going to be a little Allen key inside, and I'll tell you what that's for in a minute. So, yeah, the die uh, rotor loader or hopper liquid gray. Um, gotta say this rotor looks amazing. Feels great. Like I love the plastic that's made out of. Um, very low pro profile neck. Anti jam right here. Um, yeah, just a great little look looking rotor. Um, the little windows right here so you can see inside to tell if you're low on paint. So I guess a um, really nice lid design. You go you can completely tell that it's from dye because of the design of the rotor. It's a swept back design. So, yeah. The on and off button. Uh, unlike my Halo, which is... Where's my... Oh, there it is. My bad. Unlike my Halo, when I turn this on, you see the light splash, then it turns red, then it goes on. But then you notice that the light stays off. You have to hold it to turn it off. You'll see red. So that's how that works. That always pissed me off, by the way. But with the rotor, it's an easy button. Push it off. Blue. Turns off. Off. And if you noticed, uh, the light stays on, so you will know when your loader's on, which I love. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll sh show you guys how to disassemble the rotor. Well, not that I know of. So first you open up the thing, the lid. Then there's going to be this little thing that will be kind of hard to see. And you have to lift it up. So it's sticking out. Okay, that's the safety switch. Then you go inside. And there's this little button right here which you have to push in. And then it pops right off. Pull it off. Okay. Then it looks like this. And the next thing you do, there's a little little tab right here and you push that forward then you lift it up yep then you're inside there's your goes your batteries the actual rotor and yeah I haven't bothered taking this part so I will not do that because I do not know what will happen so to reassemble it's real easy you slide this in first oops slide that in first, first. Push it down. Well, steps in place. Space. I like this little stage here, so no matter what, like in my halo, whenever a ball is like near the front, I sometimes have to actually tilt the load back so it actually feeds into the spin. So this one I like because the stage will actually force it to go down into the rotor. So that's really cool. Nice and bouncy. Yeah. And then when you have to assemble it, there's this little thing sticking out in the front. And you have to match that with this little hole in the front of the rotor. So what you do, slide it in forward. So thing goes in. And then on the back, you push your little tab in that's sticking out still. And steps in place. Push down the safety tab. 
close it, pull off e chest, disassemble and reassemble your rotor. Like I said, I just got this thing today so I can give it like an honest review, but I hear that these rotors are really good. They are extremely popular. Everyone knows these rotors. And so once I test it out, I'll give you guys a really great review on it. I'll, so this is the die rotor, uh, loader or hopper, whichever one you want to call it. Liquid gray. So yeah, really nice rotor. I well, I can't really recommend it yet since I haven't tested it out, but looks awesome, and I will see you guys soon.